Uh, what's going on, people? It's your man, the YB, back once again. So, we got some breaking news right now regarding Diddy Vin Haney and Ryan Garcia. Devin Haney has now officially filed a lawsuit or some sort of legal action with the New York Athletic Commission, requ officially requesting Ryan Garcia to be disqualified from their fight which would award Haney the victory <laughs> due to PED use, prohibited use of IVs and admitting missing weight was a tactic for an unfair advantage. Now, let's just start at the top here. Yeah, the whole premise. Now, I don't know about how the rules work, but I assume, I guess maybe... The Athletic Commission has discretion ultimately, but where I'm, the angle I'm coming at this from is, wouldn't it have been better for Team Haney to have shot for something that's realistic, i.e. a no contest? A no contest does not give you the win, if that makes sense. A no contest wipes it out, essentially makes it null and void. But to be given a victory, like, you didn't win though. Yeah, fair enough, listen. If Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia was kind of like a points fight where you didn't get your cherry popped, fact... Devin Haney never been on the ground. Yeah? Ryan Garcia steady had him on the ground. Spiritually speaking, he never won that fight, right? Juice or no juice. Juice don't get you hit with the same shot three times in a row and take your virginity, in my opinion. If it did, then we'd all just take some juice and be the next best fighter. It's not that simple. Yeah, don't give you superpowers. Do you understand? That's what I know for a fact. If it, you know what I mean? If it was if if a bit of, if whatever, if a bit of juices did something then you'd see Ronnie Coleman the number one boxer yeah or Jay Cutler the number one boxer it don't work like that obviously not and arguably to a certain extent you end up too stiff that makes sense so anyway that's not the point I'm making the point I'm making is Diddy Diddy Vin Haney your ass got whooped yeah you could never win that fight I don't care how much juice he was on certainly not the small amounts of juice that were found that never would have been a thing for example, Jarrell Miller, when he was fighting, was supposed to fight AJ in June 2019. He came out, he was on pure anabolic testosterone, a whole bunch of experimental bits. He was just cane in it. Yeah? At that point, you could say, well, this guy, he on his Lance Armstrong, doing way too much. Yeah, he's on his Tour de France. But in this scenario where there's a few SAR, there's one SARM in there, small amounts of SARM, it's like, okay, really? Do you know what I'm saying? Do you really going to try and make out you want this fight? Oh, what, like, do you know what I'm saying? If it was a points fight and it was no kind of controversy, let's say Ryan Garcia won 115, 113, or 116, 112, and your cherry didn't get popped, and you weren't silly looking, and you won a round from the sixth. If all them things was true, you could say he probably would have won, right? Yeah? Let's fa factor it in for a little piece of juice. Factor in for a little piece of psalm, you could say, yeah, Devin, he, he could have won. Let's give him the win. This could never be that, though. At the very best, this was a no contest. In my opinion, I think Ryan won the fight. I don't think he was juicing. I'm sorry. When you look into the evidence, it doesn't make no sense. No one takes psalm a day before. No one does that. Or two days before. No one does that. Yeah? It wouldn't make sense to do that. That's why it would make sense to do. Not even once. So he didn't take no juice knowingly. So at the very best, it's a no contest. In reality, Ryan got to see up his ass. And I think Ryan should come back, be clean this time, be really stringent, and then whoop Devin Haney ass again. Although I do think it'll be a different fight the second time. Why? Devin Haney will come in and his butt cheeks will... You won't have seen butt cheeks. I mean, Devin Haney was never the most aggressive. Yeah, he got some confidence after the kind of pro grade fight. But he never been the most... Like, willing to get at it. Yeah? And you best believe it. He'll come in there and he will box like he did against Cambosis the first time. Super respectful and be running. He'll run for his life in that fight. And it might be, to be quite frank, based on what I saw, all due respect, based on what I saw, the fact that Ryan Garcia had five rounds off between rounds two and six, or rounds two and seven, 
there's a, I think, I mean, would I back Devin Haney to win? No, but it's a close fight. It's a 60-40 fight. I can see a way. If Devin Haney can not have his hand by his, his backhand, his right hand on his chest, if Devin Haney can go in there, like Floyd Mayweather said, and keep be on the phone the whole night and just keep the jab going, I can see him winning. But that's really what needs to happen. Yeah, what should happen is there should be a second fight and Ryan Garcia would come in there even more confident. Yeah, and that would mean it'd be even more on Devin Haney's ass. And if how it should be decided is, if Devin Haney was a real man, yeah, he'd say, listen, Ryan, I've looked at the evidence. I don't know if it was legitimate or not. I'll tell you what we'll do. You give me the rematch and winner takes all. Yeah, if I win the rematch and you're clean, we'll do much more stringent testing. F this VADA testing. For this fight, we know this is a million, two million pay-per-view fight, yeah. These two cats should spend 100, 200 grand and have weekly testing or f three, four daily testing. I remember Terence Crawford saying in the Errol Spence fight, oh, I've been tested three times in fight week. I, th I thought that was a standard kind of thing. I thought that was just what happened. Now, it t t now we learn that, oh, well, Ryan Garcia wasn't tested for 10 days before the fight. What the fuck? It should be, you'll be, listen, it should be, you will be randomly tested within a three or four day remit, yeah? So, in VARA testing should be, it's random, but best know, we come in every three days at the least, at the, at the most, if that makes sense. There's no, you can never not be tested every three days with VARA, is how it should be. It should never be, in one period of Ryan Garcia's VADA schedule, he had two weeks off. I thought, what's random about that? Obviously, it's random, but it's not, um, it's not consistent enough to be sure. And for these kind of events where the money's there, make sure every three days. Maximum, the maximum distance between tests is three days. That in itself has people thinking, oh, damn, you know... Now it's risky. If you think you can go in there and you may, you probably got a week, which it turned out to be. In fact, it turned out Ryan Garcia had a week between each test, essentially. In most cases. That should happen now. Devin Haney come in. If Devin Haney was a man, yeah, he'd say, listen, I don't know if Ryan was really cheating. The evidence isn't conclu conclusive, yeah? Jer Jarrell Miller, when he was fighting AJ, the evidence was conclusive. He was juiced out of his mind. Yes, five different substances, max anabolic, not a little piece of psalm. Yeah, a bait psalm at that. Much better psalms you could take to be, to be mysterious with it. Ryan Garcia picked one of the top ones to get caught with, if that makes sense. You would never take that. Yeah, on purpose. Two, two days before the fight, that's what you wouldn't do. So Devin Haney was a man, bearing in mind what he's experienced... Yeah, bearing in mind, before the fight, Ryan... Listen, if we really said Devin Haney, hey, Dev, do you think you'll still whoop Ryan Garcia ass if he off six... six whatever it was of um, of Osterine? Whatever the blood... Six non... I don't know, whatever. It, whatever the unit is, yeah? If you'd ask Devin Haney, Devin Haney, do you think you'll still whoop Ryan Garcia's ass with X amount of Osterine in his system? Devin Haney would have told you it don't matter. And that's what I don't rate. Yeah, just like before the fight, Devin Haney told you it don't matter he three pounds heavy. But now you lost. Oh, it mattered now. That's not how it works. That's not how truth, and that's not how, um, what would you call it? That's not how being ten toes down works. Yeah? You can't backtrack. So forget about the little piece of Osterine. If Devin Haney was a man, he'd say, listen, Ryan, I don't know what, happened or didn't happen. What I do know is, we need to run it again. Yeah? We'll run it again, we'll have three day VADA testing, or private testing. F VADA, who are VADA? We'll have some private company come in and test both of us every three days, or randomly on a three day schedule. Yeah? That's what we'll do. And then, you're clean, I'm clean, we go in there at an agreed weight, 143, which I, even before these tests came out, I said that already. I said it was a bit corny that Ryan Garcia came in overweight. It should be an agreed weight. Yeah, weight does matter. That's just a fact. Especially when you're weight draining. Them three pounds, as Ryan Garcia knows, are the difference between half healthy and not healthy at all. So the weight, the rematch, there needs to be a rematch, bottom line. Yeah, we need to make sure Ryan's clean and we need to make sure the weight's the same. That's what Devin Haney should do now, before doing this, in my opinion. And he should say to Ryan, listen, Ryan, we'll agree now. 
If I beat you in the rematch, and I agree, if Devin Haney beat Ryan Garcia in the rematch, yeah, I'll say, okay, the first fight, make it none and void. Don't count. And I'm, I've always thought that way. If someone, if there's a controversial fight in the first fight and in the rematch, it's like definitive, forget about the first one, it's irrelevant. Yeah, completely irrelevant in my, in my, the way I think about things. And that's what Devin Haney should do. Instead, he going down the cornball route. He trying to catch a W where there was never, not even a bit of a W to be found. He fishing for a W. And that's the worst thing a sports person can do. A, I can't catch a W in the sports, so I'll try to lick around illegal cats. Yeah, let's get some legal cats to, to, to get, you know what I mean, to get me back on. That's the worst way to get a victory. That's how you don't want a victory. Yeah? He, how can you live with yourself? Well, in denial is how he lived with himself. Ah, oh, no, it was the juices. It was the juices that caught me with the left hook all night. Hmm? How that make sense? Listen, people. You get a pot of juice here and put it in a ring. Tell me how well it does at fighting. Oops. Simple as that. If, yeah, if... Juices was the, all about the fighting, yeah, then you'd see the heavyweight champion would be testosterone 500. Do you understand? But it's not the case. It takes things that juices can't give you. Yeah, cerebral execution is what it takes. And there's no amount of juice that can change that, then bonds them, that coordination, that know-how. That is human-specific. It takes consciousness, people. And that's what, it takes consciousness to remove consciousness. Ryan Garcia consciously removed Diddy Vin Haney's victim, or, or arguably victimised him, he a victim. Dev Haney a victim right now, he feel that way. What do we know about victims? Victims go to the state people. That's what Devin Haney doing right now. Devin Haney don't want his get back in the street as such. He want his get back. He want Uncle Sam to give him his get back because he can't take it no other way. He a victim. Yeah, he's state witness right now. 100%. He can't handle his business in the street, so you run into your authorities. Authorities, I've been victimised, please help me. I'm in need right now. The guy was too big. Well, you agreed to doing it, though. See, that, that's what I'm saying when I say victim mentality. You wasn't... Compl Fair enough, yeah? If you make a claim, and then you say, oh, it's the PD use, we can argue the toss here, but you can't... Okay, fair enough, if you want to argue that. But the fact he's throwing in things that he agreed to before the fight, like missing the weight, it shows you you're just literally desperate for Uncle Sam to help you out. Please, anything that will stick at the wall. Oh, if, yeah, he missed weight too, Daddy. But Uncle Sam, he missed weight. Oh, but Uncle Sam, he missed weight. Oh, Uncle Sam, he missed the weight that I agreed to. If he didn't want to fight, Devin, say that. Say, listen, man, it's a tough sport and, and, and weight makes a big difference and I'm weight draining, he's not, so we ain't fighting. That's on him. He agreed. No, I'd, I'd back that. I'd say it's a bit corny, but or arguably, Ryan Garcia, do what you say you're going to do. If you sign to be at 140, be at 140, or die trying. Ain't no one make you sign that paper. And in fact, Ryan Garcia did that for Tank Davis. He came in 135, so you can do it. Yeah? You can do that. He chose not to, which is whack. Anyway. This part here as well. I've heard some some mumblings about this. It's a bit weird. Prohibited use of IVs. Um, I think it's fake news. There's a video here of Ryan allegedly taking some juices some IVs, but I, I think it's a Fugazi video. Now, I didn't watch all of these at the time, but I remember that basically the, all the haters, all the Devin Haney fans, all the Diddy, all the Puff Diddy fans are coming out now and saying, oh, there's a leaked video. Yeah, all the Puff Diddy fans on their YB right now leaking fake videos, 100%. So they put a video out here and Ryan Garcia is getting an IV. Now, the IV controversy is you're not allowed anymore to rehydrate with IVs. Yeah, that's banned. You have to do it by drinking orally. So Devin Haney's claiming, as you saw in the tweet, that Ryan Garcia was using IVs which are prohibited. And this is the evidence that they're putting out there. Is this oh, I allow it? Is this video here? Now, if you watch, I'm not going to play actually because it's the zone and the zone are copyright pagans. But essentially, this is a the zone video. Now, number one. The problem with it is, at the time, I believe, and I can't exactly remember, but this, Ryan Garcia wasn't talking, this wasn't, come on, this documentary from The Zone didn't come out on fight day. Why is that relevant? Well, you only take a rehydration IV after you've weighed in. So, using this documentary from a week before the fight don't prove nothing. It proves that Ryan Garcia was having vitamin C or something else, some other infusion. 
It's not inherently. I'm not sure. I'm, I haven't checked the rules, but are how would have, I don't think IVs are banned for anything, but the use of um, infusion after weighing. I've never heard you can't have a vitamin C shot two weeks before the fight. I've never heard that. Maybe it's true though. I don't believe so. Now they're claiming, oh well, he was using these shots, these vitamin C shots or whatever, to to mask the bits he was on. Again, I need to see evidence for that. I don't see having a vitamin C or a vitamin shot or whatever shot it was. I don't see how that's a problem, to be honest. Not at all. But I don't know the rules. Maybe they are banned. Maybe vitamin C intravenous shots are banned. Maybe any intravenous interactions banned during the fight period. If that's the case, then I'm wrong. And he shouldn't have been doing it. But I can't believe that. Why? Well, number one, this DAZN documentary people came out a week, certainly days before the fight. Why is that relevant? Team Diddy Vin Haney, yeah, would have watched this. Why are we only hearing about this now? Oops. You see that one there? Yeah? Why weren't they all crying about this on fight week? Hey, man, he using moody, P moody IVs. So again, trying to throw things at the wall. Either you saw this and knew it was wrong. It's on a DAZN documentary, look. It's on a DAZN documentary. You can't have not seen this. 10 million views or whatever it is. Everyone saw this. No one said nothing. Now you've got your ass whooped. Now it's a problem. Yeah, that's what I don't like. You didn't see a problem with the IVs. You didn't see a problem with the weight. You didn't. You wouldn't have seen a problem with the Osterine, same as Chris Eubank Jr. Chris Eubank Jr. when um, Connor Hen popped, didn't have a problem with it. Yeah, doctors have said it's not going to make no difference. Let's crack on. That's exactly what Devin Haney would have done. No, no doubt. Them small amounts that were found, the doctors would have told him. It's not going to make no difference on fight night. But now he lost. Oh, it was a little piece of juice. It's the IV. It's the IV I knew about. It's the, oh, no, it was the weight I knew about. Oh, no, it was the juices that I would have been happy with. That's whack. Yeah, stay on principle. If you want to be about the law, yeah, then be about the law. And if you're about the law, if you want to use the court system, stay by the court system, which would have been, hey, Ryan, you had a legally binding contract and you violated it. I'm a lawman. Yeah? I'm with Uncle Sam, and we'd do it by the law. You had a contract, you flopped on the contract, forget about the fight. Come back, try again when you when you do what you're obliged to do. He wasn't on that. He was trying to be a gangster. Hey, it don't matter how you get. I'll never be beat by a white boy. There's not one white boy who can beat me, which is fun. I like that energy. But let's not backtrack now. Oh, well, actually, there is a white boy that could beat me. If a white boy's had a little piece of juices, and if a white boy had a little piece of IV, and if a white boy have a little piece of... um. What was the other thing he said? Juices, IV, and weight. Oh, the white boy got three pounds on me. Devin, H who here heard Devin Haney say that? Oh, well, uh, I'll never be beat by a white boy unless he's three pounds heavier than me. Dev missed that caveat out, didn't he? He said, I'll never be beat by a white boy. Yeah? So don't start lying now. And that's the energy he would have had, people. Fact. He never would have told you, oh, oh actually, I've... A white boy with a little piece of ostery might beat me. He wouldn't have said that. He'd have said, good. He insecure. He insecure and I'm going to whoop the insecurity. Oh, oh, now I know he insecure. The fact that he has to take juice, he's super insecure. That would have turned Devin Haney on even more, I believe, at the time before the fight. Now he all sorry looking. Yeah. Now he's been didified, he's sorry for himself. That's whack. Yeah, so this IV stuff is fake news. No one mentioned it. It's on DAZN. There's no way DAZN are going to be publishing illegal people. These videos aren't like mine. Where I'll just get on there and waffle and smash it out. These guys have whole editing commissions. Yeah? P deciding what to put in and what not to put in. There's no way for their big fight they're going to have illegal... Do you know what I'm saying? Someone shooting the gear on them on TV. Come on, stop it. There's just no way. So... Forget about it. But all the low IQ did even Haney fans, they just clutching at straws right now. Yeah? You do got his cherry popped. Nothing gonna change that. There's no amount of juice ever gonna change the fact that Devin Haney lost his virginity. Ryan Garcia took it. No did he. Do you understand? It's gone. Wouldn't you <laughs> stop? It's a bit like when they say, Oh right. Obviously it's not nice, but it's not a nice situation, but sometimes if a madness happens and the woman gets violated, yeah, they say, Oh well, you're still a virgin. Well, you're not, though. Yeah? I don't agree. I don't like it. I'm just saying. You're not, though. It's gone. Once it's gone, it's gone. Once that cherry been popped, it's been popped. It's a spiritual uh, 
It's a spiritual thing here we're talking about. It's not like that. It's not materialistic. Yeah? The cherry, the commission, Devin, the commission can never give you your cherry back. Yeah, you can lie about it. You can get some cornball from the state to come and come in there and convince you that you're still undefeated. You know in your heart your cherry popped. You know in your heart that was your ass. Bottom line. You're in the nut right now. You're trying to fight it. Oh, Uncle Sam, make me undefeated again. Oh, please, please, Commissioner, save me. So give me the win. It's all out of, it, I'm not sure what it's out of, but it's all out of a state of, of panic. Yeah, you're panicking right now. Bottom line. You can't blame him for that. Because when, you're, when you lose your virginity in that fashion, it is it's tormenting. Devin Haney having night sweats right now. He's going through it. Seriously. The Oxford Dictionary. 100%. They put it in there. Devin Haney is the reference they use for the term going through it. You, got, you best believe it, people. The Oxford Dictionary, they ain't putting kind of references in there for nothing. Yeah, the reason Devin Haney is kind of the case law for going through it is evident. He's certainly going through it right now. Super duper through it. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Smash the like button, subscribe, like off the bell, 100%. No doubt about it. Stop it.